All right, today, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to change your fast fetch ASCII art. All right, so now that we have our terminal open, what we can do is we can type in fast fetch. You can see I'm in Kali Linux. We got to generate our configuration files now. So generate config. Now we can see that the config file has been written into this location. So what we can do is we can make sure that's true by cdng into that directory. Oh, that's not a directory, my bad. There we go, ls. All right, as you can see, that's there. If we cat it, we can see we have our configuration file. So I'm gonna go into my files. I can open this up in a nice text editor. We wanna replace our logo. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is type in logo right underneath schema. So the logo, make sure you're surrounded by quotes. Bracket it together, all right? Make sure to add a little bit of a comma down there so we don't get an error with that. We can copy this, paste it up here, type. What type are we doing? We are doing a file because we are wanting to read it from a file. Where are we getting our file? Huh. We're getting it from a source. Alright, so what source are we getting it from? We don't have that yet. Alright, so I have SSH into it with my host machine. Alright, let's cd into our documents folder. So it's nice and clean. And we're gonna make a new logo file. I gotta touch logo dot txt all right Let's make sure it's there good we're going to nano it all right let's get some ascii art all right i found some that i liked so i'm just going to copy and paste it into there and we can exit make sure to save right out let's make sure we saved it with cat boom it's in we can get rid of this window now now that we have the source let's make sure that it's in there should be in our documents folder, like I said. Boom. We know it's in our home directory. So all we have to do is home dash documents dash logo dot txt. And then we can add a little comma there just to be nice if we want to add anything underneath it. Save this. Let's see if this works. Let's clear the terminal. Boom, there it is. 